The Papua New Guinea Defense Force has scheduled six operations along the border for this year. However, due to funding constraints, these operations could not be carried out until the later part of this year. There needs to be sustained funding. Uh, as we have experienced in the current economic downturn, uh, funding is basically trickling down. And particularly for the PNG Defense Force where you have a lot of, uh, of, 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 of uh, assets, lift capabilities uh, as part of our logistics to support the, the operation, it, 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 it requires a lot of uh, funding. The lack of PNG government presence along the PNG Indonesia border is a cause for concern as it leaves PNG vulnerable to illegal smuggling of goods into the country. With the national elections next year and APEC 2018, maintaining a strong government presence along the border is critical. We need to completely shut those borders up to, to deter weapons, illegal arms, smuggling of illegal arms across into, in, into Papua New Guinea, arms and ammunition alike. So this effort, it, it will be a, continu a continuous one both for the national elections and into the, the APEC in 2018 and beyond. The first two operations in Sundown and Western provinces were carried out from late September to early October. Colonel Wenzel was part of the team that was in the Sundown province. I would like to convey my sincere you know, appreciation on behalf of the Commander PNG Defense Force to the people of Sundown, the governor and the people of Sundown, political leaders of, uh, of, of, of Sundown province, who from uh, uh, since many years ago have started supporting the Papua New Guinea Defense Force. Four more operations are planned to be carried out before the end of this year, two of which will involve other government agencies, such as Customs. Sarah Aupong, National MTV News.